Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, San Jose, California, a man who I believe is the most dominant force in the game at present, UFC lightweight champion, Habib Nurmagomedov. You know, for Habib Nurmagomedov, he's a guy that has dominated every person that he's faced inside the octagon. He has a great Sambo background, but it's all the takedowns that he mixes well together that allows him to gain top position, and when he's on top, his ground control is second to none. He can move from position to position seamlessly, and when he's on top, he's constantly doing damage. It's the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov that is his biggest and best attribute. And what's crazy to me is to hear you tell stories about him in training, oh. that we haven't even seen the tip of the iceberg when it John, comes to what he can do in the octagon. J.A., I don't believe that we have seen the finished version. I think when he's in the octagon, he's fighting at about 75% of what I see on a daily basis at the gym. Well, history is gonna look back fondly on Khabib Nurmagomedov, but every time he competes, he puts his status as one of the greatest fighters of all time on the line, and that status, of course, on the line yet again here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. The Warrior! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle Nurmagomedov! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Just out of range with that left hook. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a 
a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Nurmago Medov gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. And able to land that kick to the chin. Oh, good elbow right there. Oh, and he caught the kick. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, you see. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early, and he lands off. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into position where he can get off the strikes. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And they separate. Way to hide that leg kick. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Nice straight punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with this. And they separate. 30 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Under two minutes to go now in our opening round. And he landed the right hand there. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ball collar tie. Beautiful punch. Oh, wow. Massive echo shot. That will not feel good to him. Oh, beautiful counter jab upstairs for him there. He's got the reach advantage. That certainly helped him in that exchange. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Under a minute to go. Oh, eats a knee. Nice punch by Nemago Meta. All right, throws a straight punch and lands, so that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes, and he's throwing it over and over again. Beautiful kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Straight right is there. That was looking nice strike. Five minutes in the books. All right, let us get to some replays now from that previous round, DC. And certainly, you got to think some body kicks are going to find their way into this highlight. Yeah, he's throwing these body kicks, and he's throwing with all of his force. He is driving his shin into the rib of his opponent. If his opponent does not block these, if he does not catch these kicks, his night is going to end very soon. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. All right, single 
collar tie now. Well, that knee strike attempt blocked by Nermago Meta. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. It's wide open. Beautiful strike. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. Doing a lot of work with his offhand. Got the single collar tie. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching. A nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Thought he's gonna attack the triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. That submission for me. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel, right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go. And this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than the half guard in the side control. Because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free. So you have more freedom to use yours. Well, he keeps attacking that left eye. Now it's starting to close. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Good work from the top here by Nermago Medov. Under two minutes to go in the round. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. Thing. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range. Oh! Huge right hand! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Look at him drive his shin into his bonus body with that body. Back and forth we go here! Ten seconds to go in the round. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed 
his ability to use his grounding pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his approach in that ground and pound sequence. All right, here we go with our next round. And DC, you've spoken a lot about ground and pound skills and how it's a little bit of a lost art in modern day mixed martial arts. Certainly not for this one. No, and he does it in the old school way, right? Yeah. Now, nowadays, you push a guy to the side of the octagon and use it as a barrier to get up. Right. Not with this guy. He stuffs your head in the corner, he gains his posture, and he just starts dropping hammers, dropping hammers until eventually you're going to turn to your knees. He'll take you that choke you, or he'll just put you back down. It's it's crazy to watch him dictate his opponent's action with his power from this position. Not many guys can generate that type of right. power. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Single collar tie. Right hand punch the clinch. Nermago Medov gets the tie clinch here. Right hook to the head block. Nermago Medov gets absolutely melted by that head kick. shot that ended the fight but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance now we go inside the octagon bruce buffer with the official decision ladies and gentlemen referee herb dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute 42 seconds of the third round declaring the winner by well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and handily knocking another man out there. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats. 